right, 1114 students. I'm going to take a look at using the snap on that machine for checking the alternator output. Now, as far as the connections go, all right, the big terminals or the big connectors, those are going on the battery, just like you'd expect them to go. So, red on positive, black on negative. Now, where does the inductive amp probe go in this case? Uh, inductive amp probe, we are interested in the charging. So, we're interested in what's coming from the alternator going into the battery. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp the inductive probe. Let's see if maybe we can show it to you. Okay. I'm going to put that clamp right around that wire there. And then we're going to uh, rev the engine up while I apply a load with the VAT machine. So, before I put that clamp on, I need to ensure that the ammeter is showing zero, and it is. Now, here's where the arrow kind of comes into play. And I know if I can get it here, maybe we can see it. Okay. There's the arrow. That's the direction of current flow. So, depending on your equipment, conventional theory, that goes from positive to negative, or negative to positive, it's electron theory. Now, in this case, it might be to your advantage to put it on, because you're interested in seeing a positive direction current coming out of that alternator. Okay. Okay. I've got a positive number there, and I've got voltage that's showing 14 volts. Now, if I use common sense approach, I know that that alternator is charging because I shouldn't see over whatever normal battery volts would be with key on, engine off. But this battery to begin with was a little bit low, so I know that this is charging. So even if I should happen to see negative current numbers, if my voltage is above 13 volts or so, I know that alternator is charging. Now, let me grab a volunteer here. One of you two guys, how would you like to hold the RPM up to 2,500 or so? All right. You're not going to be on the camera, so there's Mark. Mark Jenkins. There we go. I lied. There he is. Say hi. Whoops. Oh, the camera just fell apart. What's that? Yeah, hold on. Let's turn everything off. We'll hold it about 2,500 RPM. Go ahead and just hold it steady. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply a heavy load using that carbon pile, all the while watching the voltage to make sure I do not drop below 12 volts. At that point, I'm gonna see what the maximum amperage is, and we're gonna call that the rating of the, well, hopefully, the rating of the alternator. Okay, about 122 amps according to this. I'll hit it a second time. Hundred twenty two, hundred twenty three. All right, thank you, sir. Now follow your manufacturer's recommendation. It might have another voltage for you. Also, some manufacturers would have you place the inductive amp probe at the battery cable. Okay. Well, anyways, this is one way to do it. This is the way we'll do it in the class. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's the same test, alternator output test, but using the old VAT 40 machine. Connections are the same. Big clamps on the battery. Inductive amp probe. It'll be down there on the wire coming out of the alternator. Okay. Now, for here, you're going to see we're going to need to change our range from starting to charging, and I'll show you why. What are you doing? Watching. Watching. You want to be helpful? I don't, you know me. I don't know how helpful yeah. I can be. Uh, hold that gas pedal so we get about 2,500 RPM. Okay. Mr. Murphy is helping me this time around. So just hold it steady. I'm going to yak for a little while. All right, 
So with this test, I'm going to apply heavy load with that carbon file while watching the voltage. I don't want to decrease below 12 volts, and I want to see what the amperage is now. We should see. Amperage of about 120 there. So you see that would have exceeded the normal starting. I'll go ahead and switch it to the starting just to show you. And as I apply a load, that thing is pegging the gate. Okay, so that's why we had to go into the starting position. Crank it up there so we're using the heavier scale. Okay, no less than 12 volts there, and I'm showing about, whoop, I'm getting a twitch there, 120 to 140 amps. All right, thank you, sir. Now, if all goes well, the rating will be somewhere around 120 or so. Uh, kind of a rule of thumb, if you're within 10% of what the rated value is, we're gonna call it a good alternator. All right, thanks for watching.